night in the in the trailer living out here off grid um, we thought the whole trailer had caught on fire and was burning down and I'll tell you I'll tell you exactly what happened uh, when Brandy gets home so I can, you can ask I can ask her what her reaction was and what she thought too I didn't know it did that <clears throat> she turned the light on oh Brandy's got to do her morning thing in the bathroom <laughs> no <laughs> no Whew, close that door Brandy Whew. <laughs> so we just got up and got around um, I'll, I'm gonna show you guys some footage from last night that I took on my phone I, I misplaced my bag with all my cameras my chart my cameras my batteries and my chargers what's up puppy um, last night some my batteries went dead so I filmed a little just a little quick clip um, on my phone uh, just to have something it was our first night um, off-grid hope what'd you say yesterday we're officially off-grid she said yesterday we're officially off-grid um, so it was our first night staying the night <coughs> excuse me uh, we had Lily in here Gabby and Gracie slept outside um, that's probably gonna be how it is until we get everything situated there's no way we're bringing a German Shepherd in here right now um, we it's like a tornado we just just moved in yesterday and we gotta we gotta fix it, get everything uh, cleaned up put it well, where we I want worked. yes and that was the main thing Brandy worked her one day yesterday she was supposed to work Thursday but switched um, right. a girl a girl wanted to switch it worked out perfect for Brandy as far as that getting everything moved um, so yesterday was really chaotic actually like the last three or four days was really chaotic uh, Brand, aren't you even though we got a mess right here aren't you glad that we're done with the move yeah I feel like I feel like moving all that stuff was more stressful than this but if you can see around we're kind of surrounded by things but me and Hayden have been gradually yeah we'll going get, through you stuff. guys get it done today it's no big deal so I feel like I'm just more relieved that we're done we're out of the house so um, I'll show them a clip after I ask you, how did you sleep last night on the couch? Well, so the night before I worked, I went to bed at like 1.30. Getting like stuff packed up. Finishing stuff. I got up at 5. So last night I was exhausted. So when I finally got here, I slept with my contacts in, in my scrubs. <laughs> you just crashed. On this little couch. I bet it was more comfortable than the bed I slept in last well, night. Well, I kind of had to go hip to hip to hip. Yeah. It wasn't the best, but I was exhausted. I thought so. someone was getting up, but I think it was you going hip to hip to hip because the whole it trailer was moving. Like it moves. Yeah. <clears throat> so we may have to get some stabilizers for like the, the, someone said you could put stuff underneath the slide outs. Oh. It yeah, helps it from shaking. I felt like you get up and go to the bathroom yeah. and Hayden go to her bed. Yeah. And, I mean, it's not a big deal, but. No, it's just an adjustment. I didn't move from this couch and yeah. Hey, Hayden, how'd you, how did you like it? Good. Well, do you like your bunk bed? Yeah, he does. Comfy. What? I like. Oh, you bed. have a little canoe, like a little cocoon in there. I see you. Can I show you? Yeah, we'll go in there. Is yeah. Hadley in here? It's yeah. A mess. Yes. Yep, it's a mess, but it's gonna be like that for a little bit until we get back. Hadley's still up there in her little. Like we just woke up. They got some breakfast in. Now they're just relaxing for a minute before we start working. Oh yeah, she I was all curled up in there. She's got her little, her little nest nest right there. It looked comfy, it was it? Feel this. It's Ooh, that's good. soft. So, and Hayden, she's up there in hers. Yeah, was yours pretty comfortable? Yes. She, so she laid with me a little bit on our bed, but then she came back in here. Oh, this is yeah. really soft. Yeah. That's way more softer than mine. Let's yeah. get over. I'll see about there tonight. <laughs> so. I got my entire by me. I got my entire closet. Oh, you got your closet? Yeah. I'm building this. They, and they got to share one? Yeah. Is that how that works? Because well, they're littler? Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. So she she got Holly. I don't know if I showed Holly. Aww. If I showed that you got them uh, Hazel. Hazel and Holly. Hazel just woke up. Well, and what's gonna be? I got her brain. <laughs> <laughs> what's Holly. gonna be helpful is Hayden's age. She's the age where she likes to help. Yeah. And she really likes to organize. So her and I are gonna be able to get it all good. And we're actually, as we're going through stuff, we're not keeping everything we brought. <coughs> we're just kind of seeing where stuff fits yeah. and a lot of and stuff. And it was kind of a, a, a mad dash to get things moved in yeah. here. Look at Holly, she's on her own. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and play the little, I think like a minute, two minute clip that I filmed last night. Um, uh, everyone passed out of sleep in the camper. I'll show that, hold off my phone. It was everyone, everyone's sleep by Hayden, I think. I better not have been like. She was over there snoring, it was pretty funny. But I'll show you guys that right now, then, then we'll be back and I'll talk to you a little bit more. First night in the camper. 
do you think, Heather? Tired? We got a lot to do tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. You can hear her running. Can you sleep like that? Yeah. Is Lou sleeping with you? You gonna take her up and go pee before you go to bed? Yeah. Okay, so you've seen the little clip. Brandy was passed out. Hope was passed out. I think Hadley might have been. Was Hadley still awake? I think she's, yeah, she's about to get to bed. And you, and we showed, we showed um, your hamsters. Yeah. yeah. So that, that was last night. That was our first night off grid. This is the first morning. Um, I actually went and got breakfast more. I had to get some more fuel for the generator. I had to take stuff to the storage and drop off a trailer. Uh, big shout out to your mom and dad yeah, and Vincent uh, um, for helping us get everything Rachel. moved. Rachel and Kevin came over. Kevin did a little bit more more of that talking than he was helping he no he was helping he offered to help we just didn't really have anything yeah, at the it, moment to do yeah but um big big shout out to everyone who helped us uh, i think that's probably about it wasn't it yeah yeah who, if you guys helped us thank you so much it means a lot there to was, us there was a lot of offers of friends yeah. to help but it's you don't have hard. so much yeah. help you don't really need all the hands necessarily so what look how big it is oh, oh. Wow. That's cool. Look at all Hadley's Yodas. Hadley loves Baby Yoda. And I still have lots of Baby Yodas. You weren't in there when that guy told me that. That's never been proven. So, what, babe? Oh, your pillow, too, and your blanket. Yep. She loves the Baby Yoda. And we, when we was at Disney World, someone, this guy corrected me because there's a guy in front of me going to buy a Baby Yoda. And he goes, that's not Baby Yoda. They never referred him to as Baby Yoda. So the guy put it back. Everyone calls him Baby Yoda because it's it's Baby Yoda. Yeah. Well, Even though it's really not Yoda. Well, and that guy, he had just been told He was wanting to get a Baby Yoda for, for his granddaughter. Yeah. He wouldn't put it back. So I went and I was like, hey, that's Baby Yoda. Technically, it's no, it's not. But yes, that's what that's what she's wanting. So he went back and got it and got it for her. It's pretty funny. But, we but some like of them people Disney. take that so serious. Well, it was a Disney worker, so probably like he's a Star Wars fanatic. Yeah. And he's like, that is not it was at the Yoda. It was at one of the, the Star Wars rides, wasn't no. it? No. Space Mountain. Uh, Space, Space Mountain. Mountain. But it's pretty funny. But Hadley loves uh, Baby, Yoda, Baby Yoda, and Lily's just loving life. She's just been pampered since we got here. <laughs> She's gonna we'll walk outside. We'll check on um, the pigs. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of rearranging out there. I got to move the trailers around, um, get the front cleaned up, and start putting stuff where I want it um, for right now. So we'll go outside and we'll do a little bit of that. Um, but so far, first night is pretty much what I expected. The bed was horrible, but I did buy a, a king size. Uh, what are those memory, memory phones? Phone. Memory yeah. phones. When me and Brandy first uh, got married, uh, whenever she uh, really took care of me until we started having kids, all her focus well, went on them. You remember you bought me that memory phone for the bed? You remember that? Yeah, but uh, yeah. I don't but know it was it was actually comfortable. <laughs> like uh, for our for our bed. Yeah. Yeah, because my my I got I got hurt back or whatever, and that helps that helps quite a bit. So I'm hoping once we get this put on there, it'll help a lot. What are you doing, Grace? What are you doing? Come here, Gracie. Come here, Gabby. What are you doing? They like they're ha they've been hanging out there underneath the trailer. I still gotta find all my clothes. I gotta get some pants on here in a little bit because I'm gonna be working working around out here and I need to spray down and all that. And, but we'll walk out here and check on Abe and the chickens. I'll show you guys that. Um, one of the main things I need to do pretty soon and is take care of try to take care of that sound of the generator. We got the dogs back there. I may end up moving the dog crate over in this general area just so they're not they're not um next to the generator so loud they're, they're a good distance away but it's really loud um, but i want to build um, some sort of cover for it i know you can't completely cover those up but you i can take take that sound and take it to a minimal um, for what it's doing now so that's going to be a project i'm going to work on very very soon it's not so loud when the air conditioners are running in the camper plus it's really it's right up next to the camper right now we'll move it away and put something around it but it's a, when you're at, when I'm outside filming, all you guys are gonna hear is a generator in the background. I find that a little bit annoying. So if I find it a little annoying, I know some of you guys do too. Well, there's Abe. There's the old Abe. He was stressed out for the move and got locked up for a day or two. And uh, it is wet and muddy right here. Let's see if I can get over here. There's Abe. 
So yes, we need to get a net, nest box going. Um, later on this afternoon, I'm gonna hang up the feeders. They got a waterer out there, um, but I like these perches. They were li they were lined up on these last night. There, Abe wasn't wasn't gobbling for a few days at us. I think he was mad at us. But we got the I got the run set up. The ladies are doing good. They got eggs on the ground. Um, we'll take care of that. I'll get end up giving those eggs to the pigs, which the pigs are over there. They're probably they are probably getting close to needing needing some more feed in there. So when I get changed here in a little bit, I'll fill their feeder up. Um, probably show you guys that. And uh, Gabby and Gracie, it's pretty cool because since yesterday when we got out here with them, um, I let them like I explained in my last video if you guys seen it. Um, they got the proximity collars on, but I'm only turning them on if we're not outside, so they can, and they're not staying in that in that um, pen, um, only pretty much to sleep in it. But look at them, huh? So right now they turned off and they can roam wherever they want, wherever they want. So we got a ton of stuff to do. I'm so excited to be out here. I get all this cleaned up. Is that good? Really? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Look at her. That's the old Gabby. Come here, Gabs. What is that on your side? What is that? It's dirt. Okay, you're good. Go lay down. So eventually, I'm gonna. I'll. I'll cut. I'll, I'll mow all this down. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. Like I said. What are you doing, Had? I've got so much work to do, but I'm excited to finally be out here to get some stuff done. Like everything. It's just gonna it's gonna end up it's gonna be really nice out here it's just gonna take some time to get everything done so i'm gonna set the camera up i'll show you guys moving some trailers and stuff around i'll clean up uh, this is basically gonna be like a daily just a just a vlog give you guys an update our first our first official night off the grid in the camper and uh so far so good I'm not showing that on camera, Brandy. Don't even. So Brandy has stubbed her toe. First day off grid, she's already got to go to urgent care. Are you okay, Brandy? No. <laughs> I don't want to show it. Oh, uh, quit. So her big toe. What'd you do to it, you said? Uh, no, back in college, from playing like intramural basketball, I like jammed it into my shoe 
and it injured it came off ever since then i feel like every couple years it it's just never grown back normal so now i stubbed it into the end of hayden's crop and it's about I to don't fall crush off. you out, but like here's yep. the cuticle. It like lifted up like that. I said, next time you start mouthing, I'm gonna grab it and I'm just gonna wiggle it back and forth. I would hit someone. It hurts so, bad. <laughs> uh, so she's gonna go to urgent care and see if they can't remove it. Ugh. Good luck. So you seen great. Uh, Gabby's hanging out um, underneath there asleep. We would really love to have her in here mm -hmm. right now, but just not gonna happen. Well, and too, I don't. I would rather her be up there with Gracie than yeah. Gracie by herself. I'll tell you, and Gracie's acting super. She's calm way right acting here. way calmer. Yeah. So it's literally been two two days since they've been here. Our first night. They've been in their own little area. Gracie has like her energy level as far as I don't know. It's just Being like too wild. Too like really. She's usually really really wild, but the last couple of days she's just been acting like Gabby, like relaxed, calm. I mean, it's awesome. They're That's, scoping everything out. Yeah, scoping everything out. I was telling um, on my last video that all the new smells are going to be smelling. They don't have great. <laughs> Lily's over here licking her toe. Oh my gosh! Oh, she's checking it out. <laughs> Lily's just loving life in here. Um, but yeah, anyways, the dogs are getting all these new smells and all that stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go outside here in just a minute and uh, feed the pig. I'll take you guys out there. We'll check on the pigs. We haven't looked at them uh, today yet, so we'll go out there in just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna give the pig some feed. You guys haven't got to see them today yet. They're kind of just hanging out by the feeder. Yeah, I'm sure. I think it's pretty low. Uh, hey, turns out Brandy did not have to go to urgent care. Her big toenail she ended up just taking taking care of herself uh so anyways what well, i'm gonna do after we feed the pigs we we're getting ready to go to town here in a little bit meet some friends and, and go to the county um it's not a fair it's like the the carnival um uh, at our hometown so i gotta get some stuff done before we go but i need to refill the tank in the trailer i'll show you guys that um i'll turn the well on and all that. i'll show you that i need to make a little trail over there and then i'm gonna move the generator further if i can it's pretty heavy um, it's getting really low on fuel, so I wanted to wait till I was about to run out before I moved it because it's just way lighter. Um, so I'll show you guys all that, and then we're probably going to get off here and go to the fair. But before we get off, you guys need to stick around because last night, our night in the in the trailer, living out here off grid, um, we thought the whole trailer had caught on fire and was burning down. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly what happened uh, when Brandy gets home, so I can, you can ask, I can ask her what her reaction was and what she thought too. Um, it was pretty crazy, so stay tuned for that. So right now I got enough hose that will go all the way to the trailer, the pig pen, the chickens, and all that. So we're setting good as far as getting water to it. 
um, to the places we need. But here in the next week or two, we may have a surprise guest coming to the homestead to actually help out for a few days. Uh, stay tuned for that. We'll see if it all works out and, uh, and uh, we'll film it for sure if it does. So yeah, it'll be fun. And, and if they do come, we're gonna be getting, regardless if they come or not, I plan on renting a little excavator and start doing my water lines. So yeah. I'm just filling up the fresh water container. We've already went through quite a bit. It's gonna blow out. Okay, I'm gonna, we're sitting right on empty and didn't run out, but we're getting there. I'm gonna see if I can move this over there by myself. The girls will probably come out here. The power's off, Dad. See how far this is. So a lot of you guys are probably war uh, wondering how much it's going to cost to run this uh, travel trailer full time off gasoline. As far as I can tell so far, it's going to be pretty expensive, 15 to $20 a day, probably closer to $20 a day. You can do the math times 30. Um, that's quite a bit more than what we'd be paying for electricity this time of the year. Um, I think our electric bill was anywhere from two to 275 at the big house during the hot part of the year. So it's almost double. Um, and I knew that coming in. This is kind of like a temporary thing until we can get everything established. Um, we'll be looking into the solar for sure, really, really soon. But in the meantime, we're just gonna have to eat the cost uh, of, of the gasoline. And, and that's, it was no, I knew that was gonna be like that. That's, this is what we chose to do. Um, but yeah, so that might answer some of y'all's question. How much is it gonna cost to do this? Close, probably $20 a day or close, close to it, give or take. Um, so. Say, 
It's a C W. You, Brandy, you've been down there writing, carving your name in that. I'm Does tired. it say Brandy? Yes. Uh, Dutch forever. No, no. I need. I need to tell you something. It says. It says Brandy was here. Oh, <laughs> does it? So uh, we're back home from the carnival and everything. And you bought what? You bought? Show me what you bought here. Well, this. Um, we thought it would save space because you can fold it up, fold it back up. Yeah. So it's a little kennel when we leave Lily. It's a and it's thing. a medium. She probably needed a small. Yeah. Maybe she she's... unzipped it and got out. How does she do that? Oh no, we're that... gonna put a little lock on it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna lock so her she, up. So she she worked at it for like hey, however hey, long. What? I checked the carpet. Okay, but yeah, it's she's very roomy. How does she get out of there? Those, did she get those clothes in the floor? I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, probably she's making our camper necessary to clean it again. So it was our first night in the camper last night, and I told you guys stick to stay tuned until the end. We just got back from watching the fireworks in our local town. They had a. Uh, um, carnival there went and watched that with Kevin and Rachel and what what My how's your toe it seeped out. I think I told you guys earlier Brandy ended up not end up just taking that off herself no I don't think you did yeah I did you oh. I was outside um, anyway so our first night in the camper the bed was not good and I knew it wouldn't be so I bought actual mat a little foam mattress put on there I'll do that here before we go to bed tonight but the crazy thing about it is we thought or me and Brandy you too right Brandy you woke up we thought the camper was burning, like on fire. Yeah, well, I went to the bathroom, and then I smelled like fire smelling. And that was like what time? One twenty-two. One twenty-two in the morning. Yes. Did you did you smell it, Hadley? No. You were you slept the whole thing. We would have died. Well, no, it's scary because a local family, their house actually just burned down. And like so two that, days ago. So that was in my head. Yeah. And I, when you're at a new place and you, why didn't you wake me up? That the alarms. Because I was like, no, it's not. And I just lay back down. When I woke You're, up, dude, did you smell the bathroom, it? it smelled like heater inside there. So, yeah, that was the thing. Uh, Brandy woke up about 120. It was, I woke, so I woke up at 1.30. I had a dream. I, I was dreaming that the house was on fire. And I, could, and I could smell electrical uh, burning in my dream. When I woke up, I was like, oh, that was a dream. Well, then I could I smell electrical burn, like, you know, wires burning. I'm like, oh, my gosh, there's something on fire in um in the in the trailer first night out here we're just with the first time we just run everything so you just never know if there's a short somewhere it would be the time you'd find out that'd be our luck well i come in here and i could smell it really strong in here and i was like man what is that well then i felt hot air and i came down here there there's a vent down here there's a black vent down there she had a pink it was like a pink well, uh, like laundry, a basket. laundry basket just there was a laundry basket just pushed up against that vent that's a heater vent and I was like, what the heck? So I looked over and the, somehow the furnace was turned on and it was the, it was, wasn't burning nothing, but it was heating up that, um, that laundry basket and it smelled like burnt wires. Well, and I think, I think more of the smell was when you first turn on a heater. Yeah, and that it too. it smells like that. I think but that, that was hot and I could smell it heating up. But yeah, like when you first turn your heat, your furnace yeah. on for the first time of the year, That's what it you smell like. some stuff. But at least we know now that the furnace works. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because I remember I'm saying, and it kind of made sense on this limited space. It's like the air comes from up, yeah. and then the heat, they yeah. have them. The yeah, it was actually hot in here, too. It was like 76 degrees. I'm like, whoa, what the heck? So, anyways, to make a long story short, we're, it's it's not burning down. Thankfully. Um, thankfully, everything's good to go. I don't, I'd have no idea how the furnace got turned off. I thought maybe Brandy did in her sleep. Well, it looks like you have to push a whole different You do. Mode. You have to push a mode button. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a clue what, how that got turned on. So... Hopefully it doesn't do it again tonight because it was hot. Um, but other than that, the first night was pretty much what we expected. Brandy was exhausted from work. She slept on the couch. Um, and then I, we're in, uh, I knew that bed was going to be super uncomfortable. But anyways, it was a great first night as far as the place didn't burn down. That's what I want you to tell you guys. But here's, um, we got a new shirt in. Brandy, you ordered this for me from Yee Yee. Uh -huh. Yee Yee.com. One of Granger's well, new shirts. Was summer, awesome. summer launch. That was a summer launch. And what was yours? Yeah, yours? Support your local Yee Yee girls. Where's yours at? Oh, you already took yours off. Oh, that's yeah. a Yee Yee shirt? Yeah. Look, I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys want to close it out? Yeah. We're, this is night two. We're ready to go to bed for night number two in the cabin. The Please cabin. don't judge our and mess. We're yeah, we still, know, I'm show, I've been shown this. They all know. Stuff, we just but, uh, moved in. They understand. She, she got out. What should Smash they do? Smash that like button. Go subscribe. Turn the notification bell. And give a huge thumbs up. <laughs> Uh, and subscribe to Hater Riley. That's right. All right, Brandy. You Bye. ready for night two? Yes. And
All right. Dangerous. Hey, we have a big day tomorrow. We're going to the creek with Kevin and Rachel. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably not going to vlog any of that just because it's we're going to go ahead. Fourth, yeah, tomorrow's 4th of July. They'll probably see this on Monday, so it'll be a couple days and behind. Today Maybe we will put some pictures on Facebook. I always put Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. So today we went to go watch fireworks. Yep, we went and watch the fireworks. All right, catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.